killer styled indeed. A fitting opener to this year's Khan Director's Fortnite program, Canton Dupuis' Dear Skin opens with Joe Dassin's kitschy ballad Essay to Nexiste Pas, swiftly followed by the image of Jean Dujardin anxiously slamming his green blazer down the toilet. And if that's not enough of a reason for you to start chuckling while nervously looking around, I really don't know what else would elicit that reaction. Very much in fashion of rubber, Dupuis' latest work doesn't take much time, if at all, to get the tire rolling. This brisk 77 minute absurdist comedy about a man obsessed with his deerskin jacket gets weird faster than you can utter the word surrealism. George is a divorcee whom we meet on his way to the owner of a fashion relic from the past. A grubby, dusty jacket made from 100% deer hide complete with a fringe along the majority of its yellowish brown texture. For most, it would be a garish reminder of a bygone era, but for George, it's an object of love and affection, a product of his dearest obsession. Along with the ill-fitting fashion accessory, he also comes into possession of a rusty digital camera, which would shortly become his primary source of grotesque entertainment. And delusion. Further fueling his already inflated ego, an accidental filmmaker soon meets his unlikely match, Denise, a bartender who would much rather fulfill editing duties. And so this encounter marks the beginning of a quest to become the world's sole jacket owner, a bizarre ode to narcissism and consumerism. Fetishization of a clothing item for the sake of anti-consumerist message isn't the most novel idea. Just Look at Peter Strickland's and Fabric. But the way Dupuis ponders it in the context of a spree killer's oblivious outburst has a very specific gleeful tint of delirium. Thankfully, chameleonic Jean Dujardin fully commits to this deadpan insanity, portraying Georges with a very hubristic lack of self-awareness and loopy dedication to the jacket exterminator cause. Equally as delightful, or perhaps even more so, is Adele Anel as Denise, a seemingly naive bartender turned editor who gets taken advantage of by Georges for enthusiasm. At first glance, a polar opposite of Georges, timid and inquisitive Denise excitedly talks about the prospect of editing his experimental feature, purely to camouflage her true intentions for doing so. Needless to say, when you combine a deranged egocentric idiot with a camera, things do tend to get a bit messy. Dupieux, clearly no stranger to flirtations with metacinema, crafts something sharp and eccentric out of an idea so outrageous you might think it's just a short length sketch. And to be fair, narratively Deerskin isn't particularly remarkable. It's a relatively lucid account of one man's descent into lunacy, spiced up with prolonged hotel room conversations with a garment. But then something clicks. Uh, Delanel's character Denise gets properly introduced. Suddenly the power dynamic becomes a vital part of the story, and then you finally realize what Dupuis is truly going for. The fascination with filmmaking, originated purely as a bluff, turns into a misfired found footage-like experiment that stems entirely from the character's conceit. And Above all else, the alluring charm of a Todd jacket. In many ways, Dear Skin is a difficult film to talk about. Its short length lends itself particularly well to the deadpan sketch-like structure, and to say more would certainly take away from the experience of watching Jean Dujardin's straight face ceiling fan killing. But as apparent as the film's humorous social commentary might be, I couldn't shake the feeling that Dupieux got slightly carried away with a shtick and left some ambitious ideas as mere reminders for himself, only to never come back to them by the film's delightfully farcical conclusion. But perhaps that's just another one of his jokes, and this time it's on the viewer. Nonetheless, Dupuis' latest is an exuberant escapade, bolstered by undisputedly superb lead performances and director's keen eye for comedic detail. Its satirical edge is sharp as a homemade blade and decidedly surreal, which is just about the best combination for a concept like this. It's neat, it's lovely, it's pleasant, and it won't take much of your time. So check it out when Deerskin comes out at a theater or a streaming platform of your choice. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video and wish to support me, then please feel free to subscribe because with that, I'll be able to bring you more early videos on some of the festival circuit films. Actually, on the topic of festivals, thanks to all of you, I was lucky enough to be accredited for the London Film Festival. I'll be there in October, we'll certainly cover the films I see there on this very YouTube channel, so please look forward to that. And next week, I'll be at Fright Fest London, so if you're there, just hit me up, I'm there for the entire duration of the festival, so come up to me, say hi, we'll talk horror films. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and for your continued support, it's amazing, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Have a great one.